Hi, I'm Skip Bradley, Chief Historian for Air Force Space Command. The Air Force has been putting up fleets of satellites in space for over 50 years. Behind me is one of the more successful sites that the U.S. military has launched. It's the Defense Support Program Satellite Model, or DSP for short. You have to imagine the model twice its size to get an appreciation of the actual bulk. It weighs about 5,000 pounds and orbits at about 22,500 miles in a geosynchronous orbit and uses infrared detectors to detect the launch of an intercontinental ballistic missile. The first DSP satellite was launched in November 1970, and that gives you the context of why we have this system. It was launched at the height of the Cold War, and its primary purpose was to provide warning to the United States of an attack by the Soviet Union, an attack that could have been done with nuclear-tipped intercontinental ballistic missiles. Over the years, though, threats changed. By 1989, with the beginning of the dissolution of the Soviet Union, other missions began to appear for our DSP fleet. During Desert Storm, DSP was able to detect the launch of SCUDs sent by Saddam Hussein to attack both Israel, Kuwait, and the other areas of Central Command. This is important for a couple of reasons. First, it allowed Central Command authorities to queue defending Patriot batteries. Second, the system also allowed the Allied troops to don chemical and biological gear because it was assumed that the threat by Iraq to use chemical and biological agents in their Scud missiles was real. And the time that DSP allowed troops to don that gear gave them that much more survivability. And DSP was effective. It detected all Scud launches during the Desert Storm War. So it had not only become a strategic player in space, but a tactical and theater level instrument. Over the years, there have been five different major improvements in the DSP system. It has become so reliable that some DSP satellites last two or three times as long as its original design life of five years. Those block improvements have been so effective. But technology advances on. It will eventually be replaced by the Space Based Infrared System, or SIBRS. But for now, DSP satellites that the one behind me are still on the job.